Okay. Let us see. The, sea, the ship is speeding at 90 knots while the main engine is running at 105 RPM. We have an alarm. We check it from the alarm station. Acknowledge it from this button. We have low level diesel oil tank on the fuel oil system. But we are, we have also an alarm on the dead man. Just acknowledge it by not pressing the acknowledge button. Then let's check the fuel oil system. What is the alarm? Uh, this one. Low level diesel oil tank. This is the uh, diesel oil tank. The level now is one meter. The maximum level is two meters. So we just have to fill this tank. How do we fill it? Uh, from this arrow, it says from the diesel oil pump, meaning it is not on this page. It is located in the fuel oil transfer page. Okay, this is the arrow going there to the diesel oil tank. Diesel oil service tank to be exact. Okay, we just have to start this pump. And then it will fill up the diesel oil service tank. How do we start it? We operate from this button. That's the diesel oil transfer pump. I will start the pump. Okay, you can clearly notice there is now discharge pressure of 1.7 bars. So let us monitor from the uh, to the diesel oil service tank on the fuel oil system page. Now the alarm has gone, meaning it is already filling up the diesel oil tank. So we have to fill this tank up to 80% of its level. So the maximum of sounding is 2 meters. We just have to refer to that 2 meters. The 80% uh, of 2 is around 1.6. So we, we will be filling up this tank up to 1.6 meters. Okay, let's go to the other activity. We have to fill up also the HFO settling tank on the fuel oil transfer page so how do we fill up this hfo settling tank although we don't have any alarm but it is clearly we can clearly notice that the level is at very low level it is only one meter the maximum sounding is five meters so we fill this one up by just starting this hfo transfer pump but we can uh, we have to check where is the suction. It is taking suction from the spill oil tank or the AO overflow tank. We must be taking suction from this HFO bunker tank or HFO storage tank. So we operate this change over valve. It must be taking suction from this tank, the bunker tank. So we operate it on this button. Okay. And then we start the HFO transfer pump on this button. Okay, the pump now is running with a discharge pressure of 1.4 bars. So remember, we are filling up now two tanks, the HFO settling tank and the diesel oil transfer pump also is running to fill up the diesel oil service tank. 80% of 2 is 1.6. We are near our target. Now it is 1.4 meters. Let us see. The level now of the diesel oil service tank is at 1.6 meters. So we are now done with the target. We can start the, uh, we can stop the diesel oil transfer pump now at the fuel oil transfer page. Stop the pump by this button again. Okay. So we are left with filling up the HFO settling tank. Our target here is 4 meters. Now we are at 1.2 meter level. So while, uh, do the, while doing the watch keeping in there, 
we check another system the low boil system so this is the main engine guys and this is the sump tank we don't have any problem in there uh, we notice that the camshaft lube oil tank is at low level we just have to top up this uh, tank by operating the by opening the makeup valve okay i open the makeup valve the level now is at 0 0.4 meters the maximum is 1 meter, so the 80% is at 0 0.08. I'm sorry, 0 0.8 meters. Okay, let us check. The level now is at 0 0.7 meters. We are nearing our target of 0 0.8. Let us check the other parameters. The filter in service is filter number one. So well in the main silo boil system, it is filter number one. Uh, let us check if filter number one is clean. Yeah, somewhat now it is okay. It is the filter drop pressure, meaning it is clean for now. So well as the camshaft filter. So we can clearly see it here that we are now on the target of 0.8. So I just have to close this valve. Then we are done with the lube oil system. Let us check once again the settling tank. Now at 1.4 meters. Uh, maybe it will take a longer time to fill that one up. So let us check another system, which is the compressed air system. We have two air bottles, number one and number two. Air bottle number one pressure is at 28 bars now. And whereas number two, it's only 7.1 bars. Uh, we have to fill up air bottle number two by opening this filling valve and then we start the two compressors we we'll put it into manual so that I can manually start it now it is running and then I will start also compressor number two now the two air bottles are being filled up So that the compressors will concentrate on filling up air receiver number two, I will just have to close filling valve of air receiver number one. Now we are concentrating on filling up air receiver number two. And fast forward. Now we are done filling up air receiver number two also. We can put into autom automatic all of the two compressors. And then we can put air receiver number two into service by just opening the starting air valve outlet of the air receiver. So well as the control air outlet valve. And then we can secure air receiver number one. And then before leaving the compressed air system, we have to blow down the air receivers from water. Now I'm blowing down air receiver number one. And then I have to drain also air receiver number two. And then the system is in automation with air receiver number two in service. Now let us check the 
fuel oil transfer page because we are still transferring to the settling tank. Now the level of the settling tank is 4.2. We have already reached our target. So we can stop the transfer pump now. I will be stopping. Now the transfer pump is stopped. And then we notice that the temperature of the bunker tank or the storage tank is around 49 degrees Celsius now. So it is higher than normal. So we have to close the heating valve. So we are done with transferring HFO to the HFO step link tank. So let's check the main engine. If it is running normal. Now everything is in normal condition. The ship is still speeding at 19 knots. Very good. Now let us check the electrical system. We have an alarm, low voltage on diesel generator number two. But let me check if what is generator is in service. By going to the diagram, the shaft generator is in service with a load of 192 kilowatts. Whereas other generators are on standby. We have an alarm on DG2. Let go, me go to the DG2 page. And then the alarm is seen here. Low voltage. You just have to press this button. Because this DG2 is in idle mode. Meaning the engine is running but the generator is not in service. It is in idle mode. Now the voltage is coming up. Eventually, later on, the alarm low voltage will go out. Now the alarm has gone. So everything in the electrical system is normal. Electrical system has been normal, but uh, we got an alarm on the... Let's just check. Acknowledge first the alarm. But uh, the alarm is over current. Acknowledge it in here. The alarm is in the emergency switchboard. This is the alarm over current on the battery chargers. We have to put a solution to that. Okay, acknowledge again. You just have to switch off the remember that zero is off then one is on in binary uh, those are the representations so i just switch off all the batteries one two four okay, let us check the build system we have an alarm let us acknowledge it first on the alarm station, then go back to the builds water system. The alarm is builds well aft level high. This is the aft builds. Okay. Let us check builds well aft. This is the builds well middle. Builds well forward starboard side and then the builds well forward port side. Okay, let me do the transfer. Actually, it is now lined up. The bulb has already been opened, the suction bulb. And then we just have to start this report reciprocating builds pump going to the builds holding tank. Okay, I will start this pump. The discharge pressure is around 2.6 to 2.8, meaning the filter is very clean now. It is taking a good suction from the build swell aft. But uh, let me check the other lines. It is taking suction also from the build swell 
middle. So we can just close this valve. And then together we have to close the valves for the forward bilges. I mean from the forward bilges. This is the button for those valves. And so we are just concentrated on pumping up bilge well aft to the bilge holding tank. Okay, you can also put the pump into auto. And then eventually later on, we will be drying up the bilges. Fast forward, the bilges are now normal, meaning there are no alarm on the bilges. But uh, we are still continue pumping all of the remaining water into the bilge holding tank.